Same thing on the other side. And if you're using a hose, you do need a long hose. Pump up your pressure, take your hydro shot. Now you can see that's a nice constant flow, basically towpath. Still dirty though. Welcome back folks. So today we're gonna to be doing a pre-wash on the car. First and foremost, before we even start, everyone keeps saying, Steve, can you do a video using the Works Hydra shot with mains water? Okay, and that's what we're gonna be doing today. Very simple and easy. And I've got my hose pipe over there out. We're using a new product. This is Topaz. Advanced pre-wash. There's not much to know about Topaz to be really honest. And with this product, once again, we mix it. One part citrus to eight parts water. Very simple job. So let's get straight down to the hydro shot. Take your hydro shot. Now you've got your battery in there ready to go. All we need is an end like this. Okay. And before we go any further, you need running water. So just turn your tap on, not full up, because there's no point. Now you can see that's a nice constant flow and that's the works hydro shot. And all you do is this and that's it. And then just pressurized it. Okay. And that's all you need to do. And that's all set and ready to go. Pump up your pressure. Now the only part of the car you want to be doing or the van is this down below. Okay. Nothing else. Top doesn't need doing it. It's mainly the bottom. So all we need to do is just spray it on like this onto the bottom like that. Okay. And do exactly the same on this side. Now seriously, when it comes to the back of the van, if you've never owned a transit van, you'll understand. The muck goes right up the top here as well. Once again, Give it a good soaking, right? Only on vans, by the way, maybe on backs of cars as well. Just let that soak in and that's it. That's long enough. And now we will work hydro shot. All we're gonna do is start taking it off. And already you probably can see that's already coming off there against this piece. It's still dirty though, but it's not going to take everything off. Same thing on the other side. And if you're using a hose, you do need a long hose. And on the back of the van, exactly the same. Has it reasonably taken the product off the van? Well, it's taken the product off the van, but I can honestly say it's still grimy, all right? And this is just a straightforward pre-wash. And with a pressure washer, you'd probably get a lot better than that. You can see my finger marks in it. And it, basically, normally the pre-wash would take that off. Now, this is, like I said, this is a Topaz product. Now I've not used this before, this is brand new, and it did cost around about 27 quid. Once again, down here, you can see it's doing its job, but it's still on there, isn't it, look, folks? Ah, look at that. 
So which am I thinking is best between that and easy? Well, at the moment, I think they're both the same. Easy is slightly stronger, I think. Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing this now. You can still see it on there. And it's very bitty. There's lumps on there still on the bodywork. Now, I can assure you with a pressure washer, that would most likely come straight off. With the works hydro shot, we are having a problem with it, okay? And I think you'll find it's that that's the problem, the works hydro shot. It's not really powerful enough to whip that hardened stuff off. Remember, guys, on that, that is winter grime, okay? That's been left for uh, several few weeks. The question is, shall we just have another go with uh, the red one? Just to see if we can move it. Yeah, let, let's go for it. Let's, let's try the red one out in this. Because I know you've, everyone's going to say the same. Why didn't you use the red one, Steve? Remember, this is straightforward hose pipe. This is not a siphoning action. Hose pipe. <laughs> You can still see the finger marks in it. You're just not going to move it, see? So as good as that works hydro shot is, it doesn't move it that well. Now the question is, is it the pre-wash? Now remember, this pre-wash cost £27 for 5 litres. I'm thinking it's a combination of both. If you're using a pressure washer, I'm sure that'll come off a lot better. Who knows? So this is what the van looks like after the wash. You see it's still on there, the thick grime. Look, you can see it's dried out. You can see it. You see the marks? Look all the way around. Hopefully that's coming out all right. You can just see it how, how it is, can't you folks? All right, so let's have a look around the other side. Look, can you see that? Hopefully you can. Look, it's just grime. You can see where I rubbed my hands on it there. Uh, it's still grimy. So, what did I think of that pre-wash? Hmm. As pre-washes go, it's not particularly brilliant, is it? And this is the back of the van. Hopefully you can see that alright. You can see my finger marks in it. And on this side where I rubbed it. Don't get me wrong, it's got a, quite a lot of the dirt off. But I would have expected that to have been a lot better than that, to be honest. The important thing with the pre-wash, you put your pre-wash on and then you put your foam on top of this and then wash it off because this is what it's all about. It's got most of the, like we call the grot off. So there's not nothing. I mean, that's just what we call, it's almost like a road film. If you like this type of content, Please subscribe and please share. So there we go, folks. You've learned something new today. Laters. Yeah, you can see that now, can't you, folks? <laughs> I just can't believe it. It's probably not touched that at all. It looks like it, but I don't know. <laughs>